Welcome to the introduction of discovery. This is where I'll talk more about what Landsweeper's discovery is, the different types of discovery, um, and also give you a brief overview of the types of assets that we actually do discover. Now to start with discovery, we usually talk about having three pillars, uh, detect, recognize, and deep scan. Uh, detect obviously being going out there or passively detecting assets, knowing where your devices are. Recognize is really understanding what types of devices those are. Um, so, you know, are they Windows devices, Linux, Mac devices, are they a switch, things like that. And then deep scan is really where we perform the majority of our work, where we go and fetch data from the hardware itself. Um, so we can give you all the details, whether it be software users, but also hardware specific data, etc. Now, aside from that, there's some other terms that I like to cover as well, starting with active scanning. Landsweeper historically has always been uh, proud of its own active scanning methods. With active scanning, we mean that Landsweeper will go out and fetch data. Uh, so we're actively retrieving data from devices out in the network. Uh, more recently, we've also added passive scanning. Now, passive scanning, as the term might suggest, is more passive, uh, meaning that Landsweeper itself will start listening to devices and pick up information. Uh, also better known as credential-free device recognition. Our passive scanning is something where we'll listen to the network itself, capture network packets that pass by and try and intercept data from that and then send it over to our deep scan technology to gather more information. But on that whole topic of passive scanning, we'll have a separate video to go in depth and discover all the details there. Lastly, we have agent-based scanning. Now, I already covered agents and what kind of agents that we have, but agent-based scanning is simply set just installing a piece of software on a specific device and then retrieving information from it. Um, the main benefit from there is that you're not need or you don't need to actively go and fetch data, but rather the data is sent back to you. Um, and also it has some benefits over um, being able to capture devices that are outside of your network, et cetera, et cetera. Again, we do have a separate video on agent-based scanning altogether. So if you want all the details, you can add over to that video as well. Lastly, I wanna head into Landsweeper for the first time and give you a brief overview of all the different types of assets that we scan. Now, I don't have a complete, complete list because pretty much the possibilities are, you could say, endless. Um, so I'm going to cover quite a decent number of asset types, um, but be aware that you know, we don't have an example of everything that people can have out there and can scan with Landsweeper. So let's head in. So here we are in one of my test installations where I've actually created a specific dashboard for asset types, just to add, kind of remove all the rest so that it can focus on the asset types itself. Um, and let me sort it here on the number of assets. Uh, so there's quite a list here. Uh, obviously, the most well-known asset types that we have are obviously Windows, Linux, uh, Mac. Those are the big three ones when it comes to types of devices that people usually scan with Landsweeper. But aside from that, obviously, every you know desktop also has monitors connected to it, or even laptop has multiple monitors connected to it. Um, we scan network access storage devices, um, all types of network devices. But when we go more specific, we can look at things like printers, switches, uh, firewalls, um, you know, FTP servers, whatever it might be, kind of network device related for phones. Um, we scan it all, we grab as much information from it as we can. Um, additionally, if you have something, if you have mobile phones or mobile devices in your own network, then we also grab information from those tablets, iPhones, Androids. Um, if you're more towards the education side, uh, you'll be interested to know that we do scan Chrome OS devices too with all that information. Um, if you've already started putting things in cloud, we do have actual scanning methods as well for AWS and Azure. Um, and I think here I can go quite, a list, quite down the list again. Obviously, virtualization, um, we have VMware, Hyper-V, Citrix, uh, virtualization scanning. So obviously you'll be able to scan all of that. And there's some smaller things here, like you can see home automation, Chromecast, smart TVs. So all the kind of like smaller electronic devices um, that you would have in a office environment can also be picked up and also be inventorized by Landsweeper. Now this is, all of this is all IT devices. Now we do also scan OT devices. So I'm gonna switch over to one of my other sites so I can give you kind of an overview on that. 
So here on the OT overview dashboard, you can see I've scanned 15 OT assets, um, a bit of a variety here, some from Mitsubishi, Siemens, Rockwell Automation. Um, we have quite a number of OT uh, manufacturers that we support. So you can always go ahead and grab the OT scanner as well and scan more devices that way. That will cover most or a big portion of the IT assets and OT assets types that we do scan. So with that, uh, you can head over to the next video to learn more.